finally, a human who's competent. I'm sick of the food and the underworld. I'm also pretty particular when it comes to choosing my human prey. I hope this one tastes as good as he smells. <laughs> Oh, his body is facing away from me. Is he busy? Let me put my arms around his shoulders to surprise him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to startle you. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. Look this way and face me. I'm not scary. Rather, am I not the most beautiful woman you've ever seen? <laughs> Ouch! Whoa, your head just fell into my shoulders. Hey, are you okay? Let me lift up your face. You look exhausted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't put all your weight onto me. Okay. Put your arms around me and do you have a couch anywhere? Oh, there it is. I'll just sit right here beside you. Yikes. I have to search for another one. I don't know how long that will take. His physical condition seems pretty bad though. Maybe I should stay for a little longer to make sure he won't just drop dead when I leave. Besides, <laughs> I might use him in the future. Have you gotten sick? Let me feel your forehead with mine. Your temperature is normal, but your face is so red. <laughs> now it's getting even more red. I see. No, I understand. You like that my slender hands glides down from your forehead to your cheeks and then slowly caressing your bottom lip with my thumb. <laughs> A tomato. That's what you look like right now. <laughs> You're really in no condition to do anything. That's just too bad. It's dark outside, which means it's time for you humans to sleep, isn't it? You look very drowsy. The couch seems uncomfortable for your head. And how long have you been staring at my thighs? <laughs> Would you like to lie your head on my lap? <laughs> Come here. I'll massage your ears too, softly. And I'll play with your hair. Is this comfortable enough for you, master? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We do not make contracts to serve other creatures anymore. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself to you. Yes, I'm a succubus. You thought I was an angel. <laughs> Can't you see my horns? I honed them just like how I wanted them to look. It's like styling your hair. Hmm, no, we eat our own food from the underworld the place where we reside, and their physical food, 
but we still have the temptation to feed off on human lust. Since I'm a medium rank, I am able to wander around the human world at my own discretion. <laughs> Jeez, you humans have such high maintenance. We creatures from the underworld can sustain heavy duty work for three days without break. If you're this tired after a few hours of work, I'd love to give you my energy. Yes, we can. I transferred my energy to multiple creatures, including plants, but I've never tried it on a human before. There might be side effects that I don't know of. You humans are complicated, after all, especially when it comes to your feelings and connections with others, specifically the one you call love. Sometimes, I want to be in your shoes. I know you might have heard this from folklores and wherever you got your information about us from, but yes, it's true that our immortality has made our days constant. We have lived through centuries. We have done everything you humans did in your entire lifespan. We eventually feel numb, since no one feels special to us anymore. My first love, it was 200 years ago. <laughs> He's also my last. Death did us apart. Oh. He was human, indeed. I was on an exchange mission in my human form when I met him. Like every human I've met, he was also enchanted by my appearance. Yet, he never treated me like an object. He was so kind and so charming. You think I should try falling in love again? I don't think I want to fall into another decade filled with sorrows. It was too much for me to handle when I lost him. The fellow incubus aren't really my type either. They're always flirty. It's almost boring. <laughs> That's very sweet of you to say that I deserve love. I think everyone does including you. That's why you need to take care of yourself, to live a long life and experience what it feels like to be deeply in love, my sweet human. And if you're saying that it's too late for you, it's never too late. Even at an old age, love will eventually come to you. I believe in that. I really do. You need to remember to take breaks when you need to, both physically and mentally. I was so worried when you fell into my arms. I don't want you to get sick. You have worked so hard on everything you've been working on. You need to keep your health in mind as well. As I said before, you humans have high maintenance. The fact that you are able to cope in this harsh world with so many expectations and obstacles is very admirable. I'm proud of you for getting through even a single day. I'm very proud of you. You may be going through some rough patches, but you're so strong. You've got this. You have me too, even though I just met you, I'm supporting right beside you, you're never alone. I myself would love to grow old with a person I love, waking up next to someone you'd want to spend the rest of your life with 
have a family, experience troubles and problems a family would face, overcome challenges in a relationship. I want to experience all that, but I was too afraid to try it with him. That's why distance grew between us. It's to protect both of us from an even more awful heartbreak. Perhaps that's the reason why I still yearn for love and its feeling. <laughs> you know what's odd? He smells like you. And the warmth radiating from you reminds me of him. Perhaps that was how my instinct brought me here. Or maybe you are the reincarnation of my first love. <laughs> are you feeling better? Human? Human? <laughs> I think he's asleep. This is where I am supposed to get into his dreams, but he seems very tired. He deserves some rest. Though, my sweet human, I hope you will remember our time together and not think of it as a dream, because there will be a next time I visit. Sleep well, my sweet human. <laughs>